Hey YouTubers, it's Chris from Canopy Crypto and AI. Wanted to show you how easy it is to use ChatGPT 4.0 to create an app. Now I have some basic development experience. I have some MySQL and HTML and PHP and a little bit of JavaScript, but I really haven't done that for a while. And I want to show you the quick process of how I created an app within 20 minutes for forecasting the local wind uh, in my area. And just a basic desktop app that you can create with ChatGPT. Um, so I started with, you know, really, just start really basic, broad. I said, provide me with all the code for a seven day wind forecast app for a city and country I input into a form. So I'm, I'm initially hoping that it would create an HTML file, which I'm more familiar with, but it started to give me a Python script um, and I didn't really love that. Um, so, you know, it churned out this, but then I thought, okay, well, and it gave me the steps on how to do it. Um, you do need, if it's a weather app, you need an open weather map free API key, which you have to sign up for, which I did. No big deal. Um, and it wrote the code in, in Python. So I was like, okay, that's great. But it gave me some HTML templates. Um, and it became this kind of Python thing, which I wasn't, wasn't really familiar with. But then I said, well, okay, create an HTML and JavaScript app for seven day wind forecast. And it did that. So it, this is something I could understand. I just find it's easier. I don't know Python, but I know HTML and it gave me a basic index.html file. And it was one file and it had everything in it. Um, initially though, it looked horrible. It was not formatted well. So I was like, okay, you know, and there's a few tweaks. I wanted the speed, the forecast of the wind speed to be in kilometers an hour and a few tweaks, which I just added as we went along. Um, and it looked pretty rough at first. Um, I needed to make lots of changes and, you know, I needed to make uh, the words that it would give you, like which direction they, you know, it would give me a, uh, a direction that I couldn't understand. It was basically a degrees of a direction rather than a northeast, south, or west. It gave me like zero, 90 degrees. So anyway, there's some back and forth thing, you know, change the degrees, convert the, the wind direction to words basically, um, and give me a little bit more um, functionality. I wanted it to, to figure out the geolocation um, automatically of where I was rather than me having to input it. Um, so I just asked it for that, spat me out again. I wanted it into HTML and it finally gave me HTML pure code. Um, and anyway, so long story short is after a little bit of fiddling and revising, um, it spat out this. Now it did not look this nicely formatted. Um, this was, uh, you know, it took a while to get me a seven day uh, forecast for the wind. Every three hours, it sort of chose that for whatever reason. Um, you know, get forecast so I could change it to Calgary, Alberta. And then I just type in Canada or CA. It seems to know the difference. And boom, it's updated um, now Calgary, Alberta wind forecast for seven days. So thought this was pretty cool. I mean, again, it looked pretty ugly at first. It was just text only, but I said, literally, you know, just format it in an, a nicer format um, that I would, uh, and you know, here it is, update this code to use HTML tables and colors with nice formatting. So it took this really nasty black and white um, format and it gave me a table, HTML tables and everything all formatted. So again, I'm not a coder, but, um, and I did have to go and sign up for uh, an API key at open weather AI. That was the only, you know, the API key had to be added manually. So that's the only thing in the code you had to kind of go in and do. But other than that, I didn't really mess with the code. I just asked chat GPT to update it and give me basic HTML. And literally you can, you know, just save it to your desktop as an HTML file, one file, and you've got this cool little app. So yeah, 
I encourage you to just try again chat GPT 4.0 the Omni version um, is super super smart and user friendly and uh, yeah try that and if you wanted to take this to the next level there's another video I have which allows you to create a phone app from an online app so this this piece of code could be turned into a phone app and it's really simple so look out for that other video on um, on a you know, web app to phone um, in uh, in our channel thanks for watching and please like and subscribe